This is one of the most popular strategies for beginners and experienced crafts players alike. It's a lot of fun with a relatively low bankroll. We're going to dive into the data to understand the true house edge, what bankroll you need, and how much you could really win if you get lucky. First, let me explain the strategy. The aim of this strategy is to have a pass line bet plus place bets on the 6 and 8. We'll also take advantage of the free odds bet behind the pass line. We'll be playing the minimums on a $15 table, so for beginners, this is a great way to have fun at the table without having a crazy bankroll. On the come out roll, we'll place a pass line bet. This wins even money on a 7 or 11, and loses on a 2, 3, or 12. Otherwise, it sets a point, and we'll make 3 additional bets. We'll ask the dealer to place $18 on the 6, and another $18 on the 8 for us, and then we'll add odds to the pass line bet. If a 6 or 8 rolls, we win $21, which is $7 for every 6 of our bet. If we hit the point, we'll get even money on the pass line, and the four pays two to one on the odds, which is a profit of $45. There are a few things you need to know. Proper bets. At a $15 table, the minimum proper odds bet when the point is a five or nine is $16. If the number ends in E, make your odds even. And at a $15 table, the minimum proper place bet on the 6 and 8 is $18. We round up to multiples of 6 because the casino doesn't work with exact change. And there's also a couple simulation details to go over. On a come out roll, when the puck is off, the place bets are not working, so you won't win or lose them. This reduces your risk a little and lets you enjoy when those natural 7s pay the pass line. If the point is a 6 or 8, we'll skip placing that number or take it down if it's already there. That way we're not doubling up. In real play, players often just move the existing bet to the 5 or 9. When a shooter 7's out, you'll lose all 4 bets, but the maximum you'll ever have on the table is $67. Time for the simulation. The simulation runs for 100,000 sessions, through 10 shooters each, or 1 million shooters total. That's 8.5 million rolls, and if we estimate about 40 rolls per hour, that's just over 2 hours of play. From the casino's view, the total amount bet was $136 million, with a house take of $1.6 million. That's a house edge of 1.19%. This is better than the place bets or the pass line alone, because we added the free odds bet, which lowers the overall house edge. Let's see how we did. 43% of the time, the strategy won money over 10 shooters. It lost the other 57% of the time. 177 sessions ended in a push. The maximum amount won was $1,619, and the maximum amount lost was $672. Here's the distribution of the amount won or lost during the simulation. The most frequent outcome, about one third of the time, is a loss of less than $200. One out of four sessions resulted in a small win of less than $200. So more than half the sessions ended between plus and minus $200. 9 out of 10 sessions ended between plus and minus $400, and 98% ended between plus and minus $600. Let's also see what bankroll would be needed to survive for 10 shooters. This chart shows how far down each session was at their worst moment. 398 sessions were never down at all. 23% were never down more than $100. 53% were never down more than $200. Over three out of four were never down more than $300.
over 90% were never down more than $400, and almost 99% were never down more than $500. Given these results, you can infer that a player with a $500 bankroll would have only a 1 out of 100 chance of going bankrupt before completing all 10 shooters. Finally, let's see how many rolls it takes to break even. What do I mean by that? Well, at most you'll have 66 or $67 on the table, but hitting the six or eight pays only $21. So how many rolls do you need to fully recoup that investment? This time we'll look at the data by shooter rather than by session, since that makes more sense for this particular question. Of 1 million shooters, 22% were up after the first throw and 32% were up after the second. That drops down to 22% on the third, but climbs to 54% by the seventh throw. That means if a shooter makes it to seven throws, and about 50% do, more than half of the time players using this strategy will have made money. By the 13th shooter, 90% of the players are up, and 99% are up by the 20th shooter. Let's do a quick recap. We simulated 100,000 sessions playing through 10 shooters each. The house edge for this strategy is 1.19%. 43% of the sessions ended ahead, while 57% ended down. 90% of the sessions ended between plus and minus $400. A bankroll of $500 has a 99% chance of surviving through 10 shooters. And 50% of players will be playing with house money by the seventh roll. That's incredible because it beats the three point molly by two rolls. Check out that analysis here. I hope you found this interesting. Let me know what strategy I should simulate next in the comments below. And thanks for watching.